Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to the 52nd Conference of Irish Geographers. Um, it's great to see everyone um, on a small screen. Um, it would be very good to see everyone in person, obviously, but uh, we're really pleased that you could all kind of join us and we're looking forward to the next couple of days. Um, so we've got Iris Smaller kicking us off with uh, a great keynote talk, and I'm sure everyone's going to enjoy it. Um, before we kind of get going, I just wanted to maybe just get some thank yous kind of out of the way. Um, because the, with the online format this year, we don't necessarily have the same kind of ceremonial functions and things like that that we normally would. Um, so I just wanted to quickly say a few words, and then I'm going to pass over to Rhonda McGovern, who's going to be chairing um, Iris's talk and is going to introduce her. So um, when I took on the hosting of the Conference of Irish Geographers uh, in 2019, I never thought I'd still be planning the event in 2021 and that it would be fully online. So it's been a very long road and very much a team effort in Trinity and further afield. And I, I want to thank all my colleagues in Trinity Geography for their help in getting the conference up off the ground and then back to the ground and for the help in getting it back up online then again. So while so many people have pitched in over the two years, I wanted to particularly thank uh, a few people for putting this conference together. So really just a couple of sort of without whom's this is uh, not going to be possible. Um, so firstly, to Maeve McLaughlin and Rhonda McGovern, um, these have effectively been my co-chairs over the last two years, and they kept the show on the road in so many ways, especially in the transition to the virtual event. And they've done so much, everything from working out platforms, to designing logos, to managing timetabling, and dealing with email firefighting. Thank you so much. I'm very lucky to have both of you involved. Uh, it's Susan Murphy for handling the budget and all financial matters uh, with so much efficiency and having your steady set of hands on the money has been so much of a load off in this organizing. Um, to Mary Burke for taking it upon yourself to lead the charge of physical geographers in this year's CAG. Our program is a testament to your energy and from this and so much more it's been a benefit having you involved as well. Phil Lawton and Anna Davies for organizing conference grant applications, linking in with the GSI for tips on virtual events. And for all this and much more, it's been such a benefit of having you involved as well. To our first keynote, Iris Moeller, uh, I couldn't be a more supportive head of discipline. And it's been really great having you here in Trinity. And it's very honor, a uh, great honor for me to welcome you um, and introduce you, I think, to a lot of the geography community here as well for you at this event. Um, Jean Williams for chasing up sponsorship, looking after deposits and so much to promote the conference over the past two years. Did so much very quietly and efficiently and made him a job a whole lot easier. Uh, to the fantastic timetabling subcommittee, which involved Kathleen Stokes, Maggie Jackson, Mary Burke, Mary McLaughlin and Rhonda. Uh, what can I say? You did the job at such speed and ruthless efficiency while still catering for the myriad requests coming in. In an alternative future when pubs are open, I owe you several rounds of points. Elaine Tracy for dealing so quickly with any requests, everything from raising purchase orders, organizing room space. You know, you've a million things to do. So thanks for being on the committee and making uh, what could be a complicated task so much easier. Similarly to, to Jazz Canavan, Mary Foody for helping out various elements of the conference over the few years, it's from room bookings to sort of contingency planning around the socially distance event. And even if a lot of these things didn't eventually come to pass, it was so much easier having you there to kind of to look after these. And to the wider CIG committee, and I know I'm kind of leaving off several people here, so I really just want to thank all my kind of colleagues in, in Trinity, um, especially people like Rory Rowan, John Connolly, Tommy Gavin, Federico Cugarillo, for helping plan and deliberate the different steps of the event. To Selena Muldoon for allowing us to use the image of Morrigan from Sirens uh, from your amazing art as the basis of our conference design. It's been a real privilege. To our four fantastic keynotes, Tom Slater, Iris Moeller, Rona Cox, and Jackie Seeking. Um, thank you for agreeing to do this, not just once, but twice. And two years in a row, so I'm so proud to be able to bring the breadth of insights you offer to the conference. And your scholarship's a real testament to all that geography is. Uh, France Fahi, Cathy Riley, Neve Moore Cherry, and Mary Gilmartin. Uh, so, as previous conference chairs, I sought out your advice on many occasions. You've always been so helpful and forthcoming. The checklists, the budget templates, advice on how to navigate various crises. I'm so grateful for you being able to count on you for various steps of the way here as well. 
Similarly to Karen Keaveney, Adrian Kavanagh, Kathy Riley, Shane O'Sullivan and Owen O'Malley, along with all the other GSI members. But those in particular, I want to single you out for thanks. You provided me with so much help with planning with and adapting my planning around the postponement of the 2020 event. And it goes without saying this wouldn't be possible without the support of the society and the wider geographical community. Uh, Mary Rush, uh, Rose Rush from Keynote, uh, our partners in uh, registration, thanks for being so accommodating and offering advice on the virtual event as well. John at Hoover for being great kind of tech support and, and teacher there. Uh, to Pia Lawa and Charm Cruz for uh, organizing our fantastic team of undergraduate volunteers. And for our undergraduate volunteers themselves, uh, thanks for your enthusiasm and hard work. We're so lucky to have students like you here. And finally, just thanks to all of you, to the session organizers, pres organizers, presenters, and delegates. Your fascinating research and enthusiasm for the conference is a real key to our annual event. And thank you all for your collaboration in putting this together and for the experiment in, in doing it online. So wishing you all a wonderful virtual conference uh, and looking forward to being a spectator again in, in Limerick next year. Um, so I'm going to hand over to Rona McGovern, uh, Rhonda McGovern, who's going to introduce our first keynote, Iris Muller. Thanks, everyone.